Okay, so here's the car. The car, and here's the remote control. Very simple, the car's off. Um, this controls the left wheel. This controls the right wheel. These are the only two wheels to turn. The front single wheel and the back uh, two wheels are free spinning and they're there for balance. If you want to make the car go forward, you push the two controls back forward. If you want to make the car go back, you pull them back. If you want to turn, you can either push one control individually or for a fast turn, you push them in opposite directions. Let me turn the car on now. Here's the on-off switch. I turn the car on. There we go. I'm not going to make the car run because this isn't a very big table. But I want to show you what these two buttons do. They allow the car to stand up and come down. Hang on, let me see if I can get this. Oh, yeah! See, that's why you don't want to make it run because you tear up your backdrop. Um, and that's how you get the car to flip over. Look back a little bit. And then it will come forward here. Eventually flip over like that. This car is, it is extremely responsive with the controls. Almost too fast to control. You can't really do any accurate turns. You can make a turn very quickly. But as far as doing precise control, it's just it's too responsive. That's I guess part of the part of the fun, part of the problem, part of the issue. Huh, look at that. Whoa. So that's it. That's a little bit about how the car works. Oh, the other thing I wanted to point out. Let me turn this off so I don't take my hand off accidentally. There we go. Is the battery compartments. The battery compartment on the car is, it's very subtle. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but there's embossed in the plastic, there's a little symbol for a screwdriver. And you need to unscrew this screw with a small Phillips screwdriver, like this one to open up the compartment to take out the battery to charge. The battery is charged using this adapter and a somewhat proprietary connection. So you unscrew the compartment, take out the battery pack, which is actually for either NICAT or NIMH batteries shrink wrapped together. There's a cable coming out. You unplug it from the connector inside the compartment, plug it in here, plug this into the wall to charge up the battery. Then you put it all together. You need the small Phillips screwdriver to, whenever you want to change the batteries in the car, or recharge the batteries in the car, rather. The controller takes two AA batteries. You need the same screwdriver to open up the battery compartment to change the batteries in the controller. And oddly, you also need the same screwdriver to unpack the car, because the controller is tied down to the packing material with some screws and, and ties you can probably rip it apart and get it out that way, but you really want to have one of these on hand to get the car undone. So that's the car as far as the construction. It's a fun, it's fun, it's you can have it dashing around and scaring your pets, as I've been scaring my dog, uh, as much as you want. So that's it. I hope you found this helpful and have a great day.